Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my empties for, well, about the last six months. Um, the last empties video I filmed was in July, so that would have been June's empties. So, this um, rather large basket of X goodies is from July, August, September, October, November, December. Six months, as I suspected. So, we've got a lot to get through, um, so I think we'll just get on with it. But before we do get on to that, if you're not sure what an empties video is, it is essentially where people get on camera and talk about all of the beauty products that they've finished and let you know what they think about them. I personally love this style of video, I love watching them, I love filming them. I just think that when someone's used a product up completely, it just gives you a, a better idea of how you really feel about something rather than just from a first impressions. So without further ado let's get into it so i'm just gonna dip in do what i normally do pull a product out as it comes and uh let you know how i feel so we've got a sample here of the by terry foundation this is the hyaluronic hydra foundation with an spf 30. there was just four little shades in here um, clearly I didn't use them all, um, some of them were too deep for me and there was one that was actually quite light so um, I think I just kind of mixed um, these two shades I think maybe I think I know I did some mixing um, so that I could get a colour closest to my skin tone it wasn't perfect I've got to admit but overall foundation wise didn't seem too bad I don't wholly remember how I felt about it but I don't remember hating it and obviously it's only a little tiny sample so uh, can't really get a decent feel for it but I do have at least one more of these so I'm definitely going to give it another go and I've just realized how disgusting the front of that is I do apologize um, but yeah that was that one okay. next we've got two of these they are slightly different packaging one is older than the other um, I think that was the older one this is the newer one so this is the L'Oreal casting comb gloss and it's just a semi-permanent hair color this one is in the shade plum this is obviously a little bit more faded I've had this one on for quite some time now I'm about due to redo it but I really want to get my hair cut first it's it's been a thing trying to get my hair cut but uh, it will eventually happen I'm sure but I just kind of want to have a trim before I put on more hair dye. Um, I've used this before. I've used this years ago. I think I coloured my hair the end of 2020, beginning of 2021. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, but I did get one of these and it just sat in my bathroom. And then a few months ago when I had my hair cut, I decided I was going to colour it as well. Pulled this one out, used it, still really enjoyed it. Bought a new one realized it was with a different conditioner this one was with a goji berry conditioner and this one was with um honey to be fair i actually think i prefer the honey conditioner it just seemed to work a lot better so there is that the newer one seems to be better always a good thing so uh, yeah i will definitely in fact i think i still got another one of these um i usually get them as a special offer from Superdrug. Um, it's either like buy one get one half price or buy one get one free or something like that, I'm not sure. But they're not massively expensive. It does what I need it to do. I don't really want to go the permanent route because I don't have the patience for the upkeep. I can barely even remember to get my hair trimmed, never mind get it coloured. So I will definitely be repurchasing those. Next we've got a uh, cuticle conditioning pen from Superdrug. I've had this for a while as well and I finally finished it up. It was not great to be totally honest. The oil just felt really thin. Um, it was it was oily but it just didn't really seem to do anything. It just felt quite thin and slippy and 
overall just felt quite pointless. I have tried another couple of cuticle oils while I had this that just felt like they were doing more. They felt a lot more conditioning on the cuticles. So I, I don't think I would repurchase this again. It was cheap, but it was it was fairly useless for me. This was a shower steamer from FOMO. I think that's the brand anyway. Um, I had this in a possibly a glossy box. Might have been a look fantastic. One or the other, I'm not sure. It did smell quite nice. It was um, apple and star fruit. And it says here that it got sweet orange essential oils in. It did smell quite nice. But honestly, I just didn't see the point of this. It just sat in my shower getting wet. The idea was that it's supposed to steam up and make your shower smell nice. Which it kind of did. But... I then masked that with whatever shower gel I was using. So, didn't really see the point of these. Wouldn't buy another one. Um, this was a shower gel. Um, I think this was either Glossy Box or Look Fantastic as well. This was from Kureshi Nat Naturals and it's the Lemon Shower Gel. I really quite liked this. The fragrance of this was just really nice. It was very lemony. Um, which I really enjoy and as a shower gel it did its job can't really ask for much more than that would I buy one I don't know um, I, I never really looked into availability or how much it cost so I'm not sure I suppose if it was on offer somewhere and I happened to see it and it was a price that I was willing to pay maybe I would but uh, mm, I can't see myself seeking it out at the end of the day, it was just a shower gel. A nice shower gel, but just a shower gel. We've got a couple of mascaras here. So we've got the LA Girl Volumatic. Um, this was a coloured mascara in the shade Turquoise. And I didn't finish this. It's just so old. It's been in my collection since Halloween 2020. So it needs to go, that was the shade of it. And honestly, I didn't really enjoy it when I used it. It was a nice colour, but I think for me, I like the idea of coloured mascaras in theory, in practice, they just don't look right on me. So it probably won't be the last one of these that I buy, but I know that as a as a mascara it's it's not really something that I enjoy using. It's a bit of fun maybe but definitely not something that I would use all the time. Um, and then we've got the Rodial Mascara XXL. So this is the Glamour Lash, sorry, it's the Glamour Lash Mascara XXL. I actually really did enjoy this and again this is something that I haven't used completely but it just started to dry up and get a bit clumpy but that's what the wand looks like and really did give my lashes some length and some volume at the same time it was just really nice to use I think I've got a little mini version of this or something similar I know I've got another red oil mascara somewhere so I'm, I'm actually quite excited to get into that now because this was actually really nice Rod Isle is obviously an expensive brand I don't know exactly how much this would cost but if I was to receive one in a box I would not be unhappy okay next up we've got the Etude House face blur primer and I had this in my project pan in 2020 I think and I really did enjoy it. I did notice that as I was getting to the end of this, I was struggling a little bit with it. I felt like it was sort of peeling up a little bit over my skincare. Now, whether that's because I'd changed the skincare I was using, um, because obviously I've got a lot of skincare, I get a lot in subscription boxes, I like to try new things. So, chances are it's the skincare I was using was completely different to when I was originally using this but uh, either way 
wasn't fabulous so I've never had that problem with it before whether it was the skincare or whether it was just that it was old I don't know but uh, I just thought it was worth mentioning but before that I'd really loved this it kind of reminded me texture wise and the way it felt going on of the Hourglass Fail primer so and the fact that you could get a massive container like this for a fraction of Hourglass price really did appeal to me um, I got this from Yes Style as well just in case you were wondering um, so I probably would get another one of these but I don't really need anything right now so I won't at the moment but I probably would get another one of these even with the issues I had with it towards the end because before that like I said I'd, I'd really enjoyed it so I think I'd just have to have a bit of trial and error with it again but uh, yeah really enjoyed it until the end I seem to have quite a few cleansers or cleansing type products in here so I think we'll just try and sort of round some of these up so first things first we've got this from Monuskin and this is the gentle cleanser um, it was rose geranium and aloe vera it said it was for dry or sensitive skin I have normal skin it can go a bit dry in winter um, so I, I don't mind using products for dry skin but I, I don't like them if they're too thick and heavy this wasn't too bad it's not my favourite it did feel a little bit on the thicker side and I can't remember now off the top of my head whether this left a bit of a residue as well when I was using it I, I honestly can't remember now it's been a while since I've finished this um, scent wise if you don't like rose scents stay clear but I, I don't mind fragrance products I don't mind a rose scent but I don't think I'd go out of my way to repurchase this Something else I wouldn't repurchase, and this is the Indie Lee Rose Hip Cleanser. Um, scent wise, not offensive, at least not for me. Although, as I said, I do I do quite enjoy a fragrance. Um, I hated the way this felt on the skin. As a cleanser, I don't even feel like it was that good. It just didn't seem to remove an awful lot, and left a sort of that filmy residue on my skin and I just don't really like that I, it did, sometimes I don't mind it because I normally do a double cleanse anyway but I, I don't know this just seemed to bug me a little bit more for some reason so would definitely not repurchase this next we've got the Balance Me Pre and Probiotic Cleansing Milk and this is again something else I wouldn't repurchase it just didn't do it for me quite honestly um, as a cleanser again it was okay but not amazing and to be honest I've had a few Balance Me products now and I've not been wowed by any of them at this point so wouldn't repurchase this next we've got this from Avant and it's the Gentle Rose uh, Gentle Rose Beautifying Face Exfoliant. They do like to put long names on these things. Basically, it was an exfoliating facial scrub. It did have little particles in it, so it, it was a little bit scrubby, but it wasn't very scrubby. So if you'd like a gentle scrub, this would probably be fine. But I, I wanted something a little bit more to it it didn't really feel like it was doing a lot also again if you don't like rose steer clear Avant seems to love their rose and there is no way I would repurchase this even if I did like it because this is expensive I can't remember exactly how expensive but I know every single Avant product that I've had to buy it from a retailer would cost anywhere from I think £80 to £105 I think I've seen the prices listed as no absolutely not and then we've got this from Erna Laszlo and this is the 
Hydrofel Skin Supplement. It's basically a moisturising skin toner. I love this stuff. I've had it before as a sample, not as a full size, unfortunately. I think I do still have another little one in this size, which is 15ml. Um, I, I just love it. It's very hydrating. It's very moisturising. I just really enjoy this product. So again this is quite expensive so the chances of me actually going out and buying it quite slim um but more free samples would be very welcome whoops missed one we've got this from svr and this is a micellar cleansing water it's the sensifying ar um I always get a bit confused about what the actual product's called. This is the Soothing Anti-Redness Cleansing Micellar Water. It's got zero perfume, zero parabens, alcohol, silicones or mineral oil apparently. Again, this was something that I wasn't massively overwhelmed by. It, it was okay, but it wasn't brilliant. Um, and I certainly wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. I think there's other micellar waters on the market of similar sort of price range or less that would do a better job so that's that lip scrubs i've got two of them i've got one from barry m shock horror try and get that the right way around um and this one is the watermelon yeah it even says on top it's the watermelon one and then this one was from karma co Um, and this was in birthday cake um, I wasn't massively keen on the fragrance of this it just kind of smelled like sugar to me which it's a sugar scrub so fair enough but I, I don't know just billing something as a certain fragrance I kind of expect it to smell a little bit more than just sugar um, as a scrub though it was fine I would use it again if I got it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. Barry M Lip Scrub, I've had several of these, I love these, they're cheap, they do the job, I'm going to get more. Got a couple of lip products next, and we've got the By Terry Bomb de Rose. So this is just a little mini tub, little mini jar. It's empty as you can see, I finally finished it. it still smells ridiculous ridiculously heavily of rose by terry again is another brand that if you're not fond of rose you might want to steer clear of pretty much everything seems to be fragranced with rose um again i don't mind that so that's fine for me as a balm not a fan it's thick which fair enough some people might like that i don't and it just felt it felt thick and felt very cloying on the lips um I just didn't really enjoy the texture it was one of those that i kind of used at bedtime because i knew i would go to sleep and not care but I, it wouldn't be something that i would use during the day to moisturize my lips and i wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this again either and then this is a lip gloss from i Heart revolution this was the salted caramel one i had it as part of my project pan I love this particular range of glosses. I've currently finished two of these. I've still got one more left, but it's a darker shade, so that might take me a little longer to get through. But yeah, would definitely repurchase these again if I saw them. Next up, we've got the Nivea Essentials BB Cream. This is in the shade Light, I believe, although this is in German, I think think i could be wrong um but yeah it was it was okay i finally finished this again this was as part of my project pan i did finally finish it but i don't like it i think i finally decided that it's just the formula is quite thick for me and i've bought a couple of low coverage foundations in the past year that I've, i would just rather take the time to get the brush and apply than just using this as a moisturizer it is what it is um cheap and cheerful but not for me i'm afraid not at this point in time all right next we've got this from mud Maske, and this was the after mask vitamin serum um to be used after masks is what it says um 
Use after any face mask to nourish and feed your skin with the right vitamins. This is quite a large amount of product for something that you're only going to use after a face mask. This took me a while to get through and in the end I gave up using it just after face masks because it had been in my collection for a while, um, it had been open for a while, I just wanted to get it used and I got to the last little bit and it started to smell a bit weird. So I actually didn't use what was left I, I got to sort of sort of about down to about here and I just gave up so there's that um I also wasn't really fond of this as a serum it just didn't really seem to do anything special so not something that I'm interested in repurchasing either something else I wouldn't repurchase this seems to be a lot of I'm not repurchasing them um, but this is for a slightly different reason. So this is the BioEffect EGF Serum. I actually really do enjoy using this. It feels so good when I'm using it. Um, however, this one in particular is so expensive ridiculously expensive so i wouldn't repurchase just for that reason but i really do love this it's just a shame it's so expensive and another serum that we've got is from e cooking and this is the moisturizing serum i've currently got another one of these on the go i don't mind this it's not my favorite and i don't think it's something that i would go and buy for myself um both of the ones i've got have come in subscription boxes um but it, it is quite nice i don't i don't hate using it um it is quite moisturizing it doesn't seem to be having any adverse effect on my skin so that's good um i'm just it's just again it's just i'm not like oh wow that's doing something brilliant um so i, I don't know it's not bad and if you are looking for something moisturising this is fragrance free as well so if you wanted something without fragrance this would be a, a, a good bet I think um, but it's just not something that overly excites me and I've got a lot of serums in my collection I really don't need to be buying any more so there's also that to bear in mind but yeah not not bad it's just not something that I see myself buying anytime soon at least. I really hate myself for saying this, but I really like this. So this is from Golan, and it's the, I'm probably gonna butcher this, but this is the Abbey Royale Daily Repair Serum. This is so nice. I actually ended up with this by accident. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how it happened it's not that interesting um but yeah i i ended up with this completely by accident it was massively unexpected and i decided i would finally get around to giving it a go thinking that i would probably think it's nothing special and i was ever so slightly wrong i really loved the way this felt on the skin and with it having these little bead things in which sort of burst and release as you sort of do the pump action um it's kind of got a bit of a glow to it as well not glittery but you could see there was a little bit of sparkle going on and just on days where i wasn't wearing any makeup this just made my skin look really healthy and i absolutely hated it because i know that this is something that i am never going to willingly repurchase so unfortunately it's done it is now out of my life and i am very sad about it but if i was to somehow get a sample or miraculously accidentally end up with this product again i uh, i would definitely not be upset next we've got the mac fix plus um this is the um prep and prime fix plus this was in the fragrance coconut the reason it's got all these marks down is because this was another thing that i had in my project pan i did finally finish it as a setting spray 
I don't think it's that amazing as a spray for sort of just moistening a brush to apply any sparkly eyeshadows actually really nice as something to just sort of give your face a little bit of hydration or to bring things back to life if you've got a lot of powder on your face also quite nice and I think actually originally that was what this was marketed as as more of a refresher rather than as a, a setting spray but I know a lot of people do use it as a setting spray it just doesn't work that well for me um, I I wouldn't be unhappy to have another one in my life but I there's other setting sprays that I've used that I just like better I've also got other fixing spray type products that I'm using that work just as well so I don't really need to um so I, I'm not going to rush out and buy another one again not something I would be unhappy to have if I did get another one in future though so that's that next from first aid beauty we've got the ultra repair cream this was intense hydration for dry parched skin this was this was actually quite nice it was quite thick and very hydrating which you know for dry parched skin is what you would hope for so on days where i felt like i needed that extra hit of hydration this was really really nice to use um would i buy another one I, again i've got quite a few moisturizers that i'm trying to work my way through and there's probably a few that are at a cheaper price range that work just as well but it was nice so there's that next we've got this from mio and this was the boob tube plus multi-action bust cream was nice as a moisturizer using it just on your boobs and your decolletage why why just it's a moisturizer um and i i did actually end up just using this all over the body it was really nice as a moisturizer but obviously i got through it quite quickly using it like that the one thing i actually really did like about this was the packaging um so this is actually an airless pump so sort of you used it and there's a little thing that sort of raises up so that you get all of your product out so i know that this is this is empty because i can't get any more out so that's great um but yeah i just think the whole boob tube idea was a little bit gimmicky just just give me a flipping moisturizer i, d I don't need specific moisturizers for specific places i don't want to be using two or three different moisturizers i i just want a moisturizer so it was nice but i probably wouldn't buy another one just because it's so small i want a body moisturizer not a boob moisturizer another moisturizer we've got from ahava and this was the smoothing body lotion um superfood kale and turmeric really nice really enjoyed it um again quite thick quite moisturizing um but not so thick that it was greasy um same as with the first aid beauty one i should have mentioned that as well that one wasn't greasy either um but, but yeah really enjoyed this one again not something that i'm going to run out and repurchase because i've got quite a few moisturizers because i think you can find something at a better price point but would not be unhappy to have this again was it was really nice next up we've got a hand cream from now bay excuse the packaging i've had this for a while and it has been in various different containers tubs handbags the side of my bed bags in general just everywhere um it took me a long time to use this because it ended up traveling around a lot it was never in a place that i would use hand cream regularly so th there was that this wasn't a bad hand cream um i just didn't really feel like it did an awful lot the fragrance of it was quite nice it was the orange juice hand cream it did smell quite nice um i quite liked that citrusy orange scent to it it wasn't massively overpowering it was just that nice light little fragrance going on but just mm, um and i think because i was so underwhelmed by it i think that's probably why i didn't pull it out from places and make sure it was somewhere i could use it it just kind of got bounced around a bit because it was like oh it's a hand cream i'll just shove it in there for now um 
but yeah eh oh another serum so this was from this works and this is the morning expert hyaluronic serum this was okay but it, i wasn't a massive fan a couple of reasons one the product itself it was it was okay but it, it wasn't anything amazing um it just it was quite slippy it it felt quite slippy um and i i don't know i just it just felt a bit odd when i when i applied it and i've had other vitamin c type serums in the past that have, have just felt nicer and have seemed to actually brighten a lot more as well this didn't really seem to do a fat lot to be honest um and the other thing with this product is the packaging sucks like it's bad so it's in one of these little like squeezy tube pump things pointless absolutely pointless so i would literally try and store that like that so that all the product was down the end there and yet whenever i came to use it especially when it got towards the end I've just, I had to like really squeeze the tube to force the product out. I don't have time for that. No one has time for that. Packaging needs a massive rethink on this. Um, and I just wasn't overwhelmed by the product either. So I wouldn't buy another one. I think I do have a little sample somewhere. Maybe here. Is this the same thing? Yes, it is. So I've got another little sample here that I haven't started yet, but I have pulled out to use. But once that's done, I'm I'm not going on the hunt for a full size. It's just no. Right. Next up from Vichy, we've got the um, Ideal Soleil SPF 50 Plus UVB and UVA um, sunscreen. This was what I was using for my face and it was it's actually really nice i would definitely consider getting another one of these um, it was the skin perfecting velvety cream and didn't seem to have any adverse effects to my makeup so that was really nice to, to know that i could have sunscreen on put makeup on and it wasn't gonna just sort of slip and slide all over the top or have any white cast or anything showing through was just really nice it is a little thick um so it can take a little bit to get into the skin but once it's there it's fine um so i would definitely consider getting another one of these next from tony and guy um i've got the conditioner container as well but it's still in the bathroom for some reason but just now that both of them have done the shampoo and the conditioner is done um i had this for christmas last year well tw 2020 christmas 2020 from my husband and i really wasn't sure about it to start with because i had quite long thick hair at the time and i i didn't really need anything volumizing i just needed something to help tame the mop that i had but at the time that i was finishing this up i'd actually had my hair cut you can see obviously it's a lot shorter than it used to be um so when i used this after i'd had my hair cut i noticed the volumizing action that this was having it was really nice so i would definitely be willing to to use this again which was a bit of a surprise because i didn't think i was going to be interested and and then i was so there you go next we've got this little sample size of the sol de janeiro bomb dia bright cream so this is one of those creams that's supposed to be good for getting rid of the um, the bumps on the back of your your arms, the chicken skin. What do they call it? Um, something ker pilar keratosis pilaris, maybe something around about that. I'm sure, um, which I actually do get, and I get it on my legs as well. Um, I've tried the Ameliorate cream, and I only had a small tube of that as well. So with both of these, I don't think I've i've been able to give either one of them a fair shot to see whether they actually do anything and i've been meaning to try the ameliorate again i just haven't gotten around to it so when i got this i thought oh great i'll give this a go see if this has any effect any quicker 
And the only thing that I can say for this moisturiser is that it smells nicer than the Ameliorate. I, I don't know what's in here, sort of fragrance-wise. Um, but it smells a little bit fruity, floral more fruity than floral um i'm not sure at all it just says fragrance on the ingredients on the bottom here so i don't know um but yeah definitely smells more pleasant than the ameliorate cream that i tried but again i didn't really notice anything major happening um as a moisturizer though felt really nice um when i used it it was quite like a thick body butter type texture which I quite enjoy for my body um wasn't greasy um sank into the skin quite well so it was a nice moisturizer but as for whether it does what it's supposed to do honestly I couldn't tell you next we've got a nail product or rather a nail removing product so this is from Sally Hansen and it's the strengthening strengthening nail polish remover and apparently also had a cat hair on amazing um so I haven't really done anything with my nails for quite some time but I did eventually finish this off over the last six months um I like it it does the job it doesn't feel like it's stripping my nails so there's that my nails are quite brittle they're sort of ridged and they do tend to sort of split from time to time so using something like this i would prefer over a straight up acetone nail polish i mean obviously this has got acetone in as well um but having the vitamin e in just i don't know whether it actually made any difference but I didn't feel like it was completely killing off what was left of my nails so I would definitely want another one of these I did purchase a cutex polish remover because when I came to replace this one I couldn't find it anywhere or no I don't think it was that I couldn't find it anywhere I think it was more that the site that I was on didn't have it and I just wanted to get some in case I, I ran out. I then didn't run out of this for another couple of months. So I could probably have waited. But hi-ho, you live and learn. But yes, I would definitely get this again. Face mask and lip mask type products. So this one is... Um, I don't know what the brand is. SF. I don't know whether that's the brand name or just the initials but this is the sun's out pouts out gold foil lip mask i'm holding it upside down obviously because it's open this i've used this before and i remember saying then and i still feel the same about it now so much serum there's there's so much serum on this that it just doesn't want to stay on my lips and just all the product just drips down everywhere i just don't enjoy that at all and it's one of those lip masks that doesn't have the the slit in so once it's on there's no communicating with anybody which when you've got a child not ideal let me tell you um but that was that one then we've got the radial dragon's blood lip mask i can't remember whether this had the slit in or not it's been a while since I've used it now um, but I remember quite liking the effect of this it felt quite nice and nourishing and hydrating it's supposed to be lip plumping as well I wouldn't have said that it was lip plumping but it, it did feel nice to use probably wouldn't go and repurchase one but if I was to get one in another subscription box would be happy to use the star skin VIP um, gold mask eye it was a gold eye mask um quite nice quite refreshing nothing super special probably wouldn't go and seek this one out and then the vitamasks pearl sheet mask this actually felt really nice i actually really enjoyed using this when i finished with it when i took it off i remember thinking that feels nice so again this is something that i would be more than happy to uh, to try again <sighs> nearly there guys i promise so next we've got a couple of perfumes and the first one is 
from Givenchy. So this is a little sample of the Live Irresistible Blossom Crush. Um, I actually quite liked this. It was quite light and feminine floral which I quite enjoy but not overpoweringly so um really quite liked it would not be sad to have a full size version of this um as a sort of spring summer kind of scent it's definitely what it reminds me of more spring I think than summer blossom duh but yeah really like that would be happy to have again now this doesn't have um a perfume bottle um it's just one of these little atomizer spray things so i took out a subscription with the fragrance shop for their scent addict subscription so what that means is i think it's 12 pound per month but you get an 8 mil um atomizer filled with the fragrance of your choice for that month um, and this was one of them. So this was the Muga Angel Nova. This was the Eau de Parfum version. And I wasn't sure. I, I took a first spray of this when it came. And I had that initial, that's different. But by the time I'd finished it, and the fact that I have finished it so quickly, because this wasn't the first one I had, but the fact that this is gone, um tells me everything i need to know um i quite like this it was it's fruity and floral and a little bit different but i really enjoyed it it was so nice and for me it just felt like a really nice summer fragrance i i would definitely not be heartbroken to have another one of these um i'm actually considering now that i've found it at the bottom of this basket and remembered that it exists again i i might be i might be searching for a full-size version because i did actually really like it it was definitely not my usual fragrance um it sort of smells a little bit sweet but it which normally i don't enjoy i don't enjoy them if if fragrances are overly sweet but for some reason this just I kind of liked it so I think I will probably get a full size at some point and then the last thing that I want to talk about which I don't normally talk about is a deodorant now this is something that I will probably never mention again I'm only mentioning it now because it's new um, I have started using wild um, so it's a natural deodorant company They've got a few different fragrances and for some reason I decided I would give it a go. So I started off with this first fragrance that I tried which was the Toffee Apple. So I took it out around about October, so Halloween-y sort of fragrances. So, and it was really nice. I actually really quite liked the fragrance. Um, you get, let me find it. I think it's in here. Yep. So when you first take out the subscription, you get the little container um that you can put your refills in and then obviously once they're empty you can pop the old one out pop the new one in and because they're cardboard they're actually going to be more biodegradable so i thought that was pretty cool the only thing i will say is i've seen a lot of advertisements for this brand and i mean a lot they pop up all over the place um and i've seen some people raving about how they are super sweaty and this has been really doing it for them and i don't know how that works because nowhere is this billed as an antiperspirant it's billed as a deodorant and from my understanding correct me if i'm wrong if there's anybody out there that knows any different or knows the ingredients that are in these that make it an antiperspirant but as far as i'm aware antiperspirants and deodorants are two different things one is to stop you sweating one is to smell nice at least that's my understanding nowhere on the website does it say that this is an antiperspirant at least that i could say um so i i don't know I, maybe these pay, people are paid to advertise wild i couldn't say for sure um all i know is 
that I do still sweat a little bit with this um but it's not horrendous i'm not a massive sweater anyway so i genuinely don't know if 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 this is making any difference or not um the fragrances seem to smell quite nice though as i said i've tried the toffee apple and i've currently got is it raspberry i think it i can't once they're in you can't see what the fragrance is um i think it's raspberry and rhubarb i've got at the moment it smells good it smells really good um you get three every three months so you essentially they're expecting you to use one a month and i did use this first one up in pretty much a month um it's taken me a little bit longer to use the raspberry and rhubarb but i did sort of wander off back to normal deodorants for a little bit between the two i think i was trying to test my theory and I, i'm still none the wiser so um i just wanted to mention that i've got it and that i was trying it um but i probably won't mention it again i don't know whether anybody's interested um but i just i was curious i, I think i think mainly i just want to know if anybody knows anything more about the whole antiperspirant deodorant thing and and what's going on there to be honest so help if you know help <laughs> um but yeah that is that's everything so that was a bit of a wild ride wasn't it we were here there and everywhere with serums moisturizers hair products perfumes random deodorants um but we are finally there that is finally everything caught up on for the last six months of my empties so now it's over to you guys so i'd love to know what kind of things you finished up maybe not in the last six months but let's go for the last month shall we um what have you been loving what have you been hating let me know if you've tried any of the products that i've talked about today and what you thought of them do you agree with me do you not agree with me about something um and again with the deodorant if anybody knows any better than me please please let me know because i am really curious about that if you have enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like button for me it really does help me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content if you're not already subscribed to my channel but you think you'd like to catch up with me more often then i'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too it's totally free and would help you to find me more easily in future and with all of that being said i really do hope everyone's well and staying safe and i will see you all again in another video very very soon thanks for watching Bye.